Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today is, we're going back to our collab. We paused it for a little while, the Makeup Through the Ages collab with Victoria J, Steph, when Tanya talks, although I think at the moment Tanya's taking a little break, but that's fine. I'm still going to link her down below and Claire from The Love of, the love of All Things Beauty. So um, if you want to go and check out their ones, they already uploaded ahead of me because I forgot. I forgot that we were doing it again. Um, and I've been so, so busy and just didn't have an opportunity. Anyway, I'm talking very fast. Today is the 60s um, makeup and I did a bit of research and, you know, when I think of 60s, I think of twiggy, I think of high necks, I feel, think of really slender, stick thin. I mean, like, I don't say that in a derogatory way. That was that sort of heroin chic sort of look. And it was deep eye sockets and, you know, very pale. They, there was a little bit of um, contour, but no blush whatsoever. Um, and this is sort of what it looked like. So these are the, the sort of images that you, when, when you look up, 60s it's very much like this a bit like well i mean that looked like i think that is adele actually from something or other um but you can you get the gist there's lots of black and white monochrome was a massive thing and so i'm going to recreate some sort of look for myself um i tried it on my hand i did a little pretend eye tried some products um, so I think I've got an idea of what I'm going to do. And first of all, I am going to start with base. And I'm going to use, if there's enough in here actually, my Makeup Forever, yeah there is, um, foundation. And I'm actually going to use my new um, brush. Um, well, no, I don't. I like to put this on first with my finger. So I'm going to put it on first with my finger, just dot it around the face. I want to take myself a bit paler than normal, so I'm not adding... Um, another sort of colour. I this is far too light for me. If you can see on my face, it's very light. I've I noticed recently that I have been choosing the lighter shade because I think I'm pale. When actually, I am pale, but I sh I haven't been matching myself properly. And every time I went to get myself matched at somewhere like Boots or something, I used to think they used to give me too dark a colour. When in fact, if I'd have just been a bit more wise, I would have realised that they were actually giving me the same skin tone that I am. So yesterday I went into um, Boots, for the first time in ages, the one in Leicester, and they skin matched me to a YSL Touche Eclat, um foundation, tent, tent, I can't remember what the actual foundation is called actually. Um, anyway, so I'm just using this brush here. It's the oval shaped brush that was 99p and I love it and I'm definitely going to get another one. It was 99p for goodness sake and it's just brilliant. It just really buffs out lovely. It's really, really soft. I love my beauty blender. I always think it makes me look flawless but this honestly is stunning. So I really want to take my face down to a really pale base and I'm going to use um, my Avon Creamy Concealer. I'm just going to pop that under the eyes. I really like this concealer. Again, this is very light, but I don't mind having light under the eyes. Now, I am not using any powder um, eyeshadow today so I'm not putting on a base because what I'm using will be more than enough there we go right so what I'm going to do is they in the 60s and all the photos that I've seen they did sort of bronze the face they did like what I would call like a triangle here of bronze which I'm going to do I'm going to use this big brush here and I'm going to take the three bronzy colours in this palette and I'm going to just warmly bronze the face here. Because it was definitely done. I love this brush. So nice. I'm just going to take it in a V across the face like this. And then, because I can't see what I'm doing, I'm just going to take it like this. 
in like a triangle, but only there. I'm not putting on any other, um, anything else. Bear with me one second. Basically, because it was heroin chic, you don't want to look alive. <laughs> you wanted to sort of have your cheeks going so you're almost like a skeleton shape, because that's what they were aiming for. Sort of that sunken in sort of face. I say it like it was a bad thing, but sort of wasn't that bad. This is such a soft brush. I got this from eBay. I've just done that on the forehead to sort of bring my face into that sort of shape. Can you see what I mean? Um, and that is basically, apart from, I'm gonna just set my face with a powder because I put on a concealer. Um, but apart from that, I'm not gonna put on any other um, sort of color on my face. Oh, whoops, Daisy. Okay, I'm really happy with that as a base. I was going to do my hair in like a 60s sort of style, but I don't think I could have got away with a pixie cut, really, with my hair. So we're just having it up for today. Um, so next, what is next, Leah? Ah, so basically the monochrome look was in, and I noticed that the eyelids were white, then they set the crease with a very dark eyeliner and then did eyeliner here as well it was almost like a cut crease but it wasn't blended and then you'd put white on the inner rim of your eye and then a bit more dark around the edges it was stunning if i could recreate that i would be an amazing makeup artist but i'm going to try as much as i can with what i've got so i'm using the rimmel exaggerate 001 witness white um no not exaggerate scandalize eyeshadow stick and it's a white colour, and I'm just going to use that all over the lid. And I'll have to sort of pat it with my fingers, I think. A very creamy eyeshadow stick. Don't worry, I decided to do this first because I knew what this was like. So I thought if I put this on first, at least then I can, any mistakes, I can cover up. So literally putting this on the movable part of my eyelid only. On both sides. I really want it to look as white as possible as well, which it is, which is grand. Brilliant. Now I am going to use black, but you didn't have to use black. But because I've got a really lovely black YSL um, eyeliner and it's, it's so nice and so smooth, I think this is going to work better. So I'm just going to oh, take away some of the what I can and then I'm going to take the pencil and I'm literally going to draw into the crease. I'm just going to take it above my crease just slightly. That's it. Now I could just leave it like this, um, which I might do, and then I might put liquid eyeliner on top in a minute, but I will be putting on lashes first. So just gonna draw this one in. This pen is set pen, pencil's very, um, it's not a very sharp line. There we go. I quite like that actually. I mean, not on me, I wouldn't wear it every day. That's for sure. So what I'm gonna do now is something a little bit different. I'm going to just take my mascara and pop it on now. I'm just using the volume one second one because I want it to set because I have some big lashes to put on, very big lashes which, as you know, I wouldn't normally wear. So, just popped that mascara on. Oh, I've got all stuff all down me now. 
and I'm going to take a um, my, the lashes that I bought in and they are the Perfect Eyelashes by Agnes Dos, Dos Santos and they're called Sexy Night and they're basically these. They are incredibly um, large <laughs> and they're not something I would normally wear. They are real hair eyelashes. Oh no, I've just ripped a couple out. Oh well, that's okay. Nobody will be able to tell. I really stuck fast on here. Okay. Yeah, you can't really tell. Maybe they were there somewhere else because they don't look like... I don't know where they've come from. Anyway. God, I don't know if I go on on this channel. Don't, I don't know how you guys put up with it, to be honest. Right, I'm just going to add the glue now because I like to let it get um, very tacky before I add it on. I'm just going to add that band on. I was um, quite impressed with these. They are real hair. They're like mink lashes. I mean, not, not real hair as in human hair. That would be weird. But they are mink lashes. So I'm just going to put those to dry. Oh, God. Not doing very well here, am I? On this one. Oh, that's stuck back down. Well done, me. Great. Here we go. Pop this down. This comes out like a luminous colour. Can you see that? But when it dries down, it dries down to nothing. But it's a really odd colour to start with. This is the Essence Lash Glue, and it's bloody brilliant, actually. Really, really like it. So I'm just going to leave those to sort of set for 20 seconds or so. And then I'm going to take a white eyeliner. Now I've got two, and neither are particularly soft, but I'm going to see how far I get. And I'm going to put that on the inner rim of the eye. Yeah, this one does work, just. This is by, who's it by? Manhattan, I think, which is like a, it was from Pound Shop or something. Just, and I'm actually gonna bring it right into the inner corner. Can you see? And the same on this side. I can't really see what this looks like. It looks all right in the mirror. <laughs> it might not look so good. Um, and now I'm gonna take the lashes and I'm just gonna place them on now. They are actually slightly too long, but I can't be bothered to go and cut them. I'm going to have, to, um, I'm waiting for in the post some eyelash um like tweezers goodness gracious these are a uh, very um aren't they god damn it they are massive wow <laughs> yeah this isn't my normal look is it guys it's a uh, very god claire's gonna think i'm mental it's a good job I'm not going out this evening at all, ever. Ooh! <laughs> Thing is, I love the 60s. I mean, if I wanted to go back to somewhere where the fashion was cool, the music was cool, I love the 60s. I definitely was looking forward to this. Now, I'm going to take this same gel eyeliner and I'm going to put it right close to the lash line, but not where that white was. I'm just putting it literally very close and I'm bringing it right under. This is so beautiful, this pencil, it's so soft. And what I'm gonna do here, is I'm actually gonna bring it up into a cap there. So it sort of frames the eye slightly. And the same on the other side. So underneath first, I will be putting on mascara, don't worry. And I will be making these eyelashes a bit better. I'm just gonna bring it right here. I just need to get that white pencil again because I forgot to put it in this corner. There we go. And then I'm going to take that other pencil and join these two up. There we go. Oh God, that feels so weird. 
Whew, this isn't quite stuck down properly if I'm honest but we might be alright because it's not staying on for very long. Okay so next eyeliner and I'm taking the MUA liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to line the top of these um, lashes just to give a bit more of thickness up here and just right into the corner there. I love this MUA one actually. I don't I used to really really love using it. This is what I used to look like on a night out. <laughs> it's not it's not really. Um take this right over the lash band. Oh no my eyes are watering that's not good is it? And then the pièce de résistance. Oh no my eye really is watering. Hold on a minute. Let's get rid of that tear. I'm just gonna, oh God, it's watering. I can't stop it from watering. Oh goodness. Here we go. I'm just going to take little lash marks down my eyes. Uh-oh. I hope I don't um, cause any sort of tears to come down. On the same on this side with the watery eye. Great. We'll try it. This isn't as easy as I thought it would be doing these lines. Especially with the watery eye. Just ignore them. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately they're not very even, but it's not easy. It's definitely not easy. So I'm just going to take the mascara and add a bit there. And now for the last bit really, the lips and nude, very, very nude lips was the way to go. And I have this lip gloss called Milk and Honey from H&M and I use it to ombre my lips. But today, I'm using it on the lips. <laughs> and there we have it. <laughs> I look hilarious, but you know what? I really enjoyed doing that. I really enjoyed creating something really different. Um, I definitely wouldn't walk out the house like this. I can't wait to take the eyelashes off, if I'm honest. They're really heavy. But I'm really pleased I did it. Really chuffed. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Please go and check everybody else out. And it is the 70s next week, which is, I think, bronzed goddess. So I look forward to seeing you all in the future, in the future, in my next video. Give it a subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and comment down below. Let me know what you think of this look. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye now.